Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Point Layout 2016 within Revit 2016 and just using some of the basic commands uh, on a wall. Uh, here I'm in a Revit architecture project. I'll just go ahead and create a wall. And also I'll create a curved wall so you can see some differences on what it can and can't do. We'll go to the Autodesk Point Layout tab. We'll go to the 3D view. <clears throat> we'll shade it up so it's easy to see. And if I click Wall Command, and start to put in a wall and call it a uh, wall for prefix and I'll do the say 1000 series I'll say both top and bottom we'll do it as a verification point we'll say select everything and just do the start and end points so that we'll leave it at none and if at the same time I'll also say track center hit OK and it looks like it didn't do anything but if you zoom in very carefully you can see those points are here on the center I've got one here, and I don't have any over here. So very, very strange behavior in APL, uh, ways to get around it. Let's do a face, edge, automatic, give it a location, and description, doesn't really matter. Hit OK, and pick the edge. Hit OK. And now you've placed them on the ends here. And I can continue to do that on those edges and this one. Zoom over here and this one as well. And if I click to place this edge, it'll place it on the curved edge because it treats the wall as individual, <coughs> excuse me, segmented lines when it comes to curves. Okay? Now, if, however, I'm going to delete these, do the same thing, but this time I'm going to say the edge, I'm going to say a certain distance, I'm going to say every one foot, hit OK, and then pick that edge, it'll place it just like it did with the arc uh, wall. Like so. If you need to, and then right click and cancel. Remember to always right click and cancel when you finish placing points because otherwise it still thinks you're in the command. Uh, what else can we do? If I pick face, I can say giving the face of the object that I'm picking via a grid method, via decimal feet, and put it at say two feet or two by two. Now that means two feet by two feet. You can't actually put in feet or inches because it doesn't understand that. Hit OK. Give it a description, hit OK, pick the face, hit OK, and you're done. If you try to pick a curved face, it won't do it. What ends up happening is it doesn't register that curved face. It only registers this one edge. Um, so things to kind of look at and be aware of. Um, so in that case, I'll go to face. I'll say the edge. Uh, we'll do it every two feet like we wanted. And we'll pick that edge, and it places it. So, and again, right-click and cancel. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there isn't a way to put it in a gridded fashion using Autodesk Point Layout tools. Now, since this is just a single family, um, you can just place it on the face of that family. So let's say, for example, I place it manually. Wall, I'll do 1000 series. And hit OK. We'll click Work Plane. Or no, I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Manual, U, U, Verify, hit OK, Element, and put it there. Right click, Cancel, and you're done. You've placed it. Now, go to an elevated view. Um, with a curved one, it's kind of tricky because you have to look at a view that makes sense for you. So it may be helpful to go ahead and create a view and look at it this way. 
So it's kind of somewhat dead on, right? We can align the point that we created earlier like that. And then we can just use the array command. So if I select this and I say array, we'll do this, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 of them uh, move to last. And my point positions are that corner and that corner. Now that that's finished, I can just select all of these and then array them as well. And I'll just put some arbitrary numbers, say 40 of them, to the last. And the point position over here will be somewhere over here. We go look at it in 3D. It will not place it on the face. It will degrade it like this. So things to think about on a curved wall, OK? So be careful. Um, for construction purposes, I'm not too concerned about this. Construction purposes, you just want the bottom edge of the wall and the top edges of the wall. And the GC and the field guys can actually place the points and build the wall accordingly. And that's it. That's how you use Autodesk Point Layout with the um, manual command, the face command, and, and working with walls. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.